Hello, Cancer. It looks like you're in quite a situation, but you're getting one clear sign that your higher self is giving you in order to take the next step. Let's dig in to see where this goes. Hello, everyone. Welcome in. This is a Cancer Tarot reading. It is a general reading, usually between two energies. Had a lot of multiples this week so far. Let's dig in to see what sort of theme we have for you today. Be the bridge. Number 51, reduced to a six. Expand your consciousness to behold both worlds. And what would your higher self do? Number 20 reduced to a two. You are divinity in blue jeans. So life is requiring this one. Okay. Life is requiring you to leave behind a former version of you and step into the new you. Hmm. This, for someone, this feels like it's a little bit uncomfortable of a transition. Like, it, like, if you're getting a lot of headaches, that's this transition. That's this transition. If you're getting a lot of headaches. Interesting. Okay. Okay. Show me what's going on with cancer, please. Oh. Strength card of Leo trying to pop out there. Your cups. Let's keep it together. There we go. Two of Wands underneath there. Double card of Capricorn. Hangman, Strength card of Leo. Six of Cups, Tower, Scorpio energy. Fool. Ten of Swords. So some serious endings for the, on this side. Hmm. I feel like you escaped a situation. That's how it's coming across. I feel like you escaped a situation because this is you. This is them. This is the situation. This is coming across as pretty dark, possibly toxic. But you are looking that way. <laughs> okay. Mm, and I'm getting like not letting you go without a fight kind of thing from this person. Which is just not healthy. Just not healthy at all. Like this, I feel like this person tried to keep things going. And like finally when they let go of it, it, it just... It's like the door slammed while they were still standing in the threshold. So it really hurt. When it could have hurt less. Hmm. Whereas you, you're, you're just, you are so done. You are so done. There's this feeling of, I have put enough time. I have not put enough time, attention, resources into this for it to end up like this so if you're still in this situation and you are being bedridden by headaches that's your sign that's your sign your higher self is trying to tell you to exit you're at the crossroads point it's a long-term situation you haven't known what to do about for a while but now it's time to make the decision and you are looking elsewhere. Okay. This is this is not an easy one. Show me the devil, please. Let's get the details of the devil. Four of Wands. Page of Wands. Queen of Pentacles. Two of Swords. Seven of Pentacles. This feels like someone 
it feels like you're the husband, this is the wife, and you guys have a kid together, possibly a fire sign child. You've created home and, and whatnot. And what she's trying to do is prohibit you from planting new seeds somewhere else. When this it's like this is already broken. And it's not that you can't fix something, but this this is trapped. This is feeling trapped. It's not that she's fighting for the relationship. It feels like she's just fighting you. That, that that's what that feels like. Show me the hangman for cancer, please. Six of Wands, Sun. So you, yeah, dude. Run so fast. <laughs> Just run. Ah. Because you're actually taking stock. There's something here. I don't know if you're finding time to spend with friends, like outdoors or something like that. Where um or in secret shit. Um, because the Seven of Swords is next to the sun. Um, or if you're not divulging when you get home, how much fun that you have when you're out, because you have none where you're at. It's got you really looking at what is it that does make you happy? What is it? What is it that does make you happy? And keeping the details to yourself because you know you're not going to get it here. Show me the Six of Cups, please. Empress card of Taurus and Libra. There's someone that you know. Two of Cups. Ace of Swords. Two of Cups. There's someone that you know. Okay. Got it. Okay, this is getting more specific. And I don't mean for it to, but it is. So I'm going to read what I'm hearing and saying and thinking. Um, what this comes across is this feels like a marriage that separated. And you went out and explored. And you found the sun. You found an empress too. The soul bond empress. Okay. And now this person wants to reel you back in to try again at something that is broken all the way through. But now you know what's possible for your life. It is possible to be happy, to be content, to have a high vibrational mate, even if it's not this one. You still think about her, though. <laughs> it's hard to forget an empress, I will say. Show me the fool. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wanting to take... We've got that Aquarius energy there with the king of uh, swords. Three of wands, eight of cups. Taking a calculated risk. Okay. On what is out there and what is possible for your life not trying to fly by the seat of your pants but take a calculated risk because you still have looks like a kid involved over here kind of thing this is broken apart whether it's final or not is not coming up but it is broken apart okay and you have gotten the taste of the finer things in life that that happy connections, that healthy connections are possible. That you don't have to stay in toxic ones just because you created a family. Okay, let's get into this. Show me strength, please, for this person. There's the fight. To the, okay. Okay. And this is really a lopsided fight because you're not even getting in the ring to fight with them anymore because you're done. Okay. They're, they're getting, I mean, it could be obsessive, sure. Because they know that connection with you was a soul bond, was a two of cups. But you know that it's possible to find a new two of cups. They don't know that, so they're just holding on to connection with you doing everything to start over they'll even do they even could have told you they'll do all the heavy lifting they'll do all the heavy lifting uh uh that's not how that works and it just results in more arguments show me the tower 
Nine of Wands. They're starting to get tired of not knowing where this is going to go. When what it is they want to do is is basically replant the relationship with you. Moon card of Pisces, higher front card of Taurus with the Seven of Coins. They really want to keep up the facade of happy home life. I mean, okay. Show me the Ten of Swords, please. Yeah. Sag energy there with temperance. Being the, especially if this was a stay-at-home parent kind of thing, the, this is the end of an era of them getting what it is that they want and need. It, it doesn't sound like you've been getting yours for a while. Okay. So tell me, what is that that cancel wants? Whoops. Soul bond energy. King of Swords. Eight of Wands. You're afraid to want what you want. Which makes me wonder if this Empress is gone now. You know if you go forward with this that you will have to give this person resources in order to become a singular energy again and it will put a downturn in your finances. But dude, do you really want to stay in this? I mean... Really? Do you really want to stay in this though? You are sad you did not take the opportunity with that Empress and run. So that's telling me that she is gone because you, you took too long. Got it. Mm. Okay. If you, uh, okay. Word of warning. If you keep with this connection, it will end even worse than it could if you ended it now. I, I know. I know. Maybe you guys have like a whoops pregnancy and there's another kid to add to the mess. You know what I mean? There's It's going to be worse than if you ended it now. Okay. So, I'll head over to the extended. I'm going to look into this empress. If, if it goes south with this empress, then I will look into someone new for you. Okay. I'll see what's going on with them in their current energy, near future, and the final outcome of the connection between you two in this lifetime. So if you are interested in any of that information, along with messages from Spirit about the connection at this point in time, messages between you, as well as timing, feel free to follow me by clicking the link in the description box below. And I'll see you guys over there. Bye.